the latest news is, due to the Republicans causing all the problems with the Affordable Health Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare, there will have to be additional fees raised to go ahead and support it. Oh, yes, here come the sin taxes. What? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Yep. Uh, the head of their Senate election campaign has said specifically once again today that uh, they're going to, even though they don't want to do it, they're going to have to save this president's rear end and fix Obamacare because it's, they sure they got to have too many people that aren't going to, more people will have, more people will be uninsured than before. And the only way to fix the problem is to fix Obamacare, even though it will make this president a much stronger president and harder to deal with. Herbie Daddy said, that's stupid. Mm -hmm. He said, you let the thing die and say, uh, okay, people, we could have paid you with the fees that the president said, the Congress, is, uh, that the Supreme Court said that he can collect because of taxes, you would have saved $4 trillion just paying for health care for the ones that were not uninsured. Were uninsured. Four trillion just by paying it off the fees. Hmm. So, uh, and then a guy, Republican, basically. I mean, uh, but don't worry, the Democrats managed to do a funnier one, a funnier one than that day. So they did. They basically now have taken the place of the Republicans supporting Obamacare. And once again, the president changes the rules for Obamacare. Uh, yeah, he basically said uh, this is what they said this morning. Due to the Republican interference on the Affordable Health Care Act. They're refusing to participate in it, and on and on and on, that the, uh, the fees are going to have to be pa passed on to the consumer, which would be the fault of the Republicans, in order to pay for the damages the Republicans have caused mm -hmm. to the insurance agencies, whom, as everyone knows, were the beneficiaries, uh, the, their cronies in the insurance industries were their beneficiaries of the Obamacare Act, which they authored. Um, Herbie Daddy said, the insurance companies are all ran by Democrats. Kirby Daddy said the, uh, no, not one single person in the Republican Party had anything to do with it. And they all said the president is delusional along with most of the Democrats. They're going to run on Republicans' interference in the Obamacare Act. And once again, the president changes the rules for Obamacare. I know she likes it. She's read it twice. I know, it is. And against the treaty they signed, but with Obama's approval, the Japanese building a carrier fleet again. Yeah. There's only what? one. There's only one reason to have. Okay, they are forbidden to have an offensive navy. The president of the United States wants them to have an offensive navy. Because they don't again. want to pay for it anymore. There was a reason. No, they just want no. To have he it. just wants them to have an offensive navy because uh, the Jap the Chinese want a reason to go to war against Japan, and he's not. Obama is not. Okay, here the trick is. Obama sent some airplanes and stuff into their so-called security belt because he wanted to make Joe Biden look like an asshole. When Biden, said, Biden, what? When Biden went over there to tell the Chinese, you can't do that. So he basically sent airplanes over there to, uh, to support Biden and then ordered that all American air carriers and shipping stay out of their defense zone as Biden is telling everybody that the United States is going to stand its ground. And what? they flew, yeah. It was it was basically meant to make the United make Biden look foolish and basically diminish the United States and its position in the world. That's why the Japanese have now decided, with Obama's best wishes, they're to going build to build a brand a carrier, carrier fleet. fleet because they're not going to be ships like they they're going to be jump jets, which means they um, okay. Right now they've got destroyers that are oversized destroyers with helicopters on them. But they're building one that is twice the size of one of, of a regular destroyer, which, oh, what do they call something twice the size of a destroyer? It's called an aircraft carrier. Mm. And Venezuela car owners unfazed by a planned fuel hike. Mm, that's not what actually the truth. That's, that's, the, that's what that, the, the Obama people are saying. That you could eat, okay, in a country where they have limited resources, they're easily able to afford higher prices on ta on gas to help the environment. No, they're pissed off about their they're raising prices on oil because of the fact that their country has spent billions of dollars on military equipment they didn't have. And healthcare tactics split Republican Senate rivals. Oh yeah. Okay. The Tea Party. Well, here's it is. It looks like the, for the first time in my lifetime we're going to have a real third party form 
is going to be formed of the people that basically both parties need to elect. Uh, it's going to be the uh, Tea Party people and the independents are going to form a third party, and they're going to kick ass. I mean, you're going to have what amounts to, I know, she did that. She just... <laughs> She I, I need that. a camera while we're doing it. She this. knows we don't have a camera. She picks the time when there's no one near. I know. Smart little stink pot, and then walks to the most difficult part Can of the Can you thing. believe she did that? Yeah, she does it just to show off. We sit there. You she have to a, see her a, do what she does. She is a show dog. Yeah. And many uh, never got their Christmas gifts delivered due to mistaken delivery ability by companies. I know. Here's the trick is, when all these people are defending FedEx and United Partial, uh, the problem is that, well, they're saying, well, the companies did these last-minute sales. Ooh, do you know the little thing on it that says, how do you want shipped, and it's guaranteed shipping by the shipper, not by the merchandiser, the retailer, but by the shipper? That means it is a contract from the shipper and, uh, and you that it will be delivered. You know, oh, you know how the post office managed to get his stuff all out? They basically, people work Christmas Day to give the merch the things that they had that they couldn't get there by Christmas Eve. That's called, that's how you run business. That's how you run business. But, it's like, oh, it's Christmas. Is it, is it the fact that uh, that everybody, that uh, that it was only southern states and southern companies that weren't delivered by Amazing. two companies that support Obama? Yeah. Yeah. In Utah, growing desperate to ask the Supreme Court to halt gay marriages. Oh, don't worry, folks, because uh, it is a constant. It is a right in the Constitution to, to, for people to marry horses, dogs, cats, chickens, anything they want. Now, it's not in the Constitution. They basically here's what it said. Herbie Daddy said the Supreme Court said the uh, the way the, the the Defense of Marriage Act was written. It wasn't, it, 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 and they sent it back and said it, they didn't say it was unconstitutional. They specifically said it needed to be rewritten to conform to the Constitution. And nowhere did they say gay marriage was legal. Nowhere. It was not said that it had to be sent back to Congress to be rewritten, which many laws are done. And oh, who was it that pushed this law through? It was a Senator Bill Clinton. Who was it that passed it? It was a House of, a Senate controlled by the Democrats. Mm -hmm. Republicans just supported them. The Democrats, just the same like today. What, anybody? Oh, Herbie Daddy says, do you have any idea, mysterious person who reads the, the stuff off the, on, the, on, the deal, on the news, who occupies the state of New Jersey politically? Mm -hmm. The Democrats. Guess what happened? The Democrats have decided to strapless gowns for girls at, at at the prom parties are are uh, are dirty and they're not going to allow them to happen. Is that what? Is that Republicans? No, that's liberal-minded Democrats that think strapless gowns on females are are uh, basically they cause men, to, boys, to get all excited and, and and they could be attacked. And in order to keep the girls from being attacked, we're going to ban strapless gowns in New Jersey at uh, at proms now. Oh my gosh! What well, could be them wearing? Really tight sweatpants that say "juicy" all over their rear. That's not. That's not bad. It's just strapless gowns because. No. Yeah. And Japan uh, manufacturing sentiment rises to a six-year high. Yeah, but the problem is that six-year high is is lower than it was ten years ago. So that's a six-year high is not good. That's this six years from a disaster. And AT&T to T-Mobile, keeping NSA spy records seem burdensome. Well, they don't have, okay, uh, that's why the NSA is building a city. Okay, here's the, the day. Uh, an Obama, a brand new Obama appointed judge, which never would have been appointed if they hadn't changed the Senate rules on filibusters, basically said it's perfectly legal. You know what Herbie Daddy says? Herbie Daddy says in a statute that uh, basically charters the NSA, it forbids the NSA from doing any domestic spying for any reason without a court order to do such. Do they have court orders? No, the FISA court basically meets and, and is, if, if the, the FISA court has never given permission for the NSA to violate the, cha the charter and spy on everyone in the country. And then what did Herbie Daddy also say? Oh, Herbie Daddy says, here's the, here's the thing, if you make your living lying to people, who makes you think that you're telling the people the truth when you say you're not spying on them? Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, I love this one. He said, uh, never 
tell a person that is in the news industry that you know more about the news than he does.